Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Monday Mortgage Madness. I'm Sean LaRue with Franklin Loan Center. I'm having a great day and I hope you are too. On this episode, we're gonna be talking about the eight different milestones you need to hit in order to get your deal closed. All right, so there's um, eight different steps that we have in order to get your deal closed. We can do everything in about 25 to 30 days and a lot of these things actually do overlap, but I wanna go through each step one by one so that you can see what, you know, that there are some things that could hold the deal up, that we need to get the appraisal ordered, there's inspections that need to be done. We need to act as if we're doing everything, getting it all put together and completed so that we can meet all of your timelines. So it's very, very crucial to get all of your stuff uh, into your loan officer, escrow, and title companies. So step number one is pre-approval. Now, less than 10% of buyers are actually getting pre-approved before they're going home shopping. Now, I don't understand why this is happening, but if you wanna make a really good case to your real estate agent to get them involved and have them go to work for you, you really need to get your pre-approval letter from your lender. It takes about a week or so. If you have everything organized, maybe it'll take only a few days, but you need to get your loan application in, which you can do at seanloans.com. We'll post the link below. If you don't have a pre-approval letter, chances are your real estate agent's probably not gonna be that motivated to take you out and work with you if we don't even know what we can do. Having your pre-approval letter in hand, make sure that you're budgeting for what you're looking for for your monthly payment, as well as we know exactly the amount that you can qualify for. Now in some of the other videos, we're talking about making sure we know if there's an HOA fee, what the taxes are gonna be, if it's on leased land or not, if there's a solar lease, if there are additional taxes. There's so many different things that go into making up that payment. Let's make sure that we have all of that accounted for, you know exactly how much you want to budget for, and we know what area and range we want to go shopping for the houses in. The best part about filling out the loan application is that we've made it so easy for you. It only takes about 15 minutes to get that submitted, and then you'll pull all the income documents together. We'll try to link up that other video. But the information that we're gonna be verifying includes your last two years of employment, uh, verification information, uh, your current employer, your prior landlord, um, your last two months of your bank statements, and proof of income like tax returns and your most recent pay stubs. Once you fill that out, we will need about 24 to 48 hours. Once we get your income documents back with the loan application, we'll go through everything, verify your employment, verify the income, verify the debts, the amount of money we have available to close, and then we'll issue you your pre-approval. Step number two. Step number two is actually finding a house. So it just depends on what your timing is, what properties are coming on the market, and what you find. So that, there's no real timeline for finding a property, it's just whatever's really right for you guys. Now that you have your pre-approval letter, you can start going shopping. Now the clock stops and you're not in a rush for making any kind of a decision. So you can actually look at the properties, go check them out, make an intelligent decision on uh, making your offers. Buying a house is never a decision to be taken lightly. I understand all of the intricate details. There are no stupid questions and I'm really here to help you guys. And when you found the house that you're looking for, you'll be ahead of the competition, things will go quicker. If we have everything in, we're turning out loan approvals in 15, 15 days, docs in 15 days, we can get you closed super fast if everything works out with your timeline and with the sellers. So it's a phenomenal opportunity to have shorter locks, save some money, get lower interest rates so that you can be ahead of the game and make a, an offer with an actual loan commitment. Uh, it's a phenomenal opportunity to make sure that you are saving as much money as possible. You have the leverage you need in order to make your offer. And of course, with Franklin Loan Center behind you, we've got a great brand in California and beyond. Um, 
So we're really nailing it and getting offers accepted, working with our local agents and coordinating quick closes. So what happens once your offer is accepted? You've made your offer, the offer's been accepted. One of the first things you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you get a home inspection. Now an inspection is not required, but is definitely recommended. I call it sleep insurance. So uh, number three is your home inspection. You'll wanna make sure they're verifying all the systems, um, all the utilities, and everything, making sure that the workmanship's done right, if there's anything that needs to be repaired, all electrical, plumbing, and HVAC systems are all working. So I really invest, I, I really recommend investing uh, in your home inspection report. Um, and so those prices can be probably 350 uh, to 500 depending on the size of the property, um, but that's a general range uh, for what home inspections are currently going for. Step number four is the appraisal process. Once you have your accepted offer, we need that to order your appraisal. Appraisals can run anywhere from $500 to $650 on up, depending on the size of the property, the value, the location, and how difficult it is uh, to get that market data. Also, if you're an investor, it might be a little bit more expensive if you're doing a rental survey or you need the income for the property that you're purchasing in order to qualify. So there's an additional report there for that as well. The appraisal reports are currently being turned in about seven to 10 business days. So in order to meet all of your contingencies, I recommend getting that ordered as soon as possible so that you can get the report back, you're getting the appraisal done, you're getting the home inspection done, and then all of that's gonna come back so that you can negotiate all of the repairs with the seller in order to move forward. Step number five, step number five is loan approval. So once you have all of the verification of employment, pay stubs, bank statements, appraisal report, um, I talk about title insurance on my other series, Woke Wednesdays in Real Estate. So check out the two-part series regarding title insurance on that. And we put all that together, get your loan approved, and then there might be a few conditions we still need to get. We get those conditions, work with escrow, nail down all the numbers, and then that will take us to step number six, um, which is the closing disclosure review. So this is a new, port, uh, new part about the process. The closing disclosure, you have to sign the closing disclosure three days before you sign the loan documents. What I like about this is that it verifies all the cash to close, the amount down, the loan amount, and all the terms before you're even going to the closing table. So three days before you're signing your loan docs, you're already approving everything. It's all set, you know exactly what you're doing. And then step number seven will be the closing or the signing of the loan documents. So once you sign the CD, wait three days. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you could sign docs on Friday if you sign the, the CD on a Tuesday. So if you sign the docs on a Friday, then let's say they get back to the lender, Monday, Tuesday, we would be uh, probably funding and recording on that, maybe Monday afternoon. It does take a couple of extra days in order to get it closed here in California. Um, you sign the loan docs, they go back to the funder. Uh, title and escrow will review all the conditions and get everything together. And then once it's recorded on that following Tuesday, you're able to get the keys after we get the confirmation of recording. And typically that's later in the afternoon. That is just a quick overview over the closing process, what it takes in order to get your loan approved and closed in today's market. I hope you enjoyed the information. If you think somebody could use this, please uh, tag them in the comments below. Uh, share with all of your social media friends. Um, if you think that there's something that I missed or that could be added to this, uh, drop a comment below. I really appreciate you guys watching this. Please stay hungry and stay positive. I hope you make it a great day.